Alright guys, how y'all doing? It's Ralph here, and so we are starting the new season today. I'm going to play the first two games of the season, and you're going to see how we get along in them. Uh, I can imagine us not doing as well this time out, you know, we've gone back-to-back -back champions in both the se in the last two seasons, so hopefully we can carry something on like that, but what I'm really predicting is hopefully just a top half finish. If we get a top half finish, I'll be very proud of the boys, that's all I'm expecting, but we'll go straight into the tactical meeting, they want us to play cautiously, you see, against Southend, but I'm going to play my game play positively we're gonna play my game and hopefully we can do something I'll do the uh, numbers and that and I'll uh, I'll see you in the game all right guys here we are in the game so what do we say I'm gonna say go out there and give these fans their money's worth so I'll say that I've got faith in everyone to do something everyone's nice and motivated away from home let's get it Danilo Pereira picks it up on the wing what can he do with it it's his debut today, we've got a few players making their debuts today. He finds Kerr, goes for goal, blocked. He gets another chance though, Bandera, Bandera! Oh, great goal by Mauro Bandera! Come on! What a finish. Mauro Bandera. You can't go wrong with that, can you? When your players are finishing in the dinner like that. You've got nothing to do, you can't complain. You can't do anything, you can just be happy. Edwards lays it back to Bandiri, takes one touch and places it exquisitely in that far right hand corner. Brilliant work by Bandiri. Coming in on the top there, Ewan Pollock picks it up, plays it out wide to Edwards. Oh, it's a good challenge that by Clifford. He finds Cullen in the centre, he plays back to Clifford out wide. What can Clifford do with it? Good press, good press. Oh, he plays out of it though. Staunton, over the top, win that header, good job Charles. Edwards, oh Clifford gets the best of Edwards again. Unfortunately, Edwards though gets a decent block on it, but Cullen's pick it up. Burton plays it. Cork puts it back in. Oh good play, good press, good press. Go on Ewan. Ewan Pollock. He's in on goal, bearing down. He's got good pace. Right foot. Yep. Yep. What? Like, it's just normal for Ewan now. It is just normal for him. It's just normal. That's crazy to say, but it is. It is just normal for Ewan. No matter what league, no matter what time, it's a fantastic finish. Off the post, trickles over the line. What a goal. And Beck goes to Kerr. He plays it back into Beck. Beck puts the early ball in. Oh, he misses it. Ewan Pollock gets his second goal. If He starts this season like he started every other one of them. And he's just playing incredibly already. Like, seriously guys, what did you expect from Ewan? Were you expecting him to get a little bit worse on each season? Nah. I know I wasn't, because that is brilliant. Yeah, it's a defensive error with by Cork, but Ewan Pollock's not going to care about that. He still had to finish it, and he did it with ease. He did it with ease. He's definitely on side. It's a great, fantastic ball by Beck. Cork, yeah, makes the error, but Ewan makes him pay the price. Harry Hunt gets another free kick, he puts the ball in, they header it away quite easily, they have a chance to counter as well with Evans, Evans looks to bring, oh no he doesn't look to bring the ball up, he plays it back, there's Ralph, oh mate that's me, <laughs> Newton, you never see that, I never see that name anywhere so it's quite surprising that it's, uh, that it's come up there to be honest, I never ever see it anywhere, Stanton, Newton, Newton plays it, Oh, couldn't quite pass it to Ralph, Garzon, Evans, out wide to Biomono, Buomono, what a name that is, it's crazy, Kutsi would be proud, <laughs> Newton, it's good defending by, uh, I don't know, I didn't see who it was, Hunt, wow Hunt, that's very composed, picks a fantastic ball, outlet, a fantastic outlet pass as well, if I could speak. Yeah, I must have been blind because it's right here in front of my face, but you know, <laughs> you know how it is. More concerned about our boys and how well we've just done. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, we're going to have our uh, we're going to have outstretched arms. And we're going to say I'm very happy with the result and the way that you've just played. Very proud of the lads for that one. It's a great great result, especially when they wanted me to play it cautiously and everything. But you know how it is. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? <laughs> we've got some trials finishing. Oh, we've got some loan offers for Chaka. I'll accept every single one of them where he's a regular starter because that's what you want to so if you want to, if you're loaning players out make sure you're loaning them out as a regular starter because uh, then they'll actually get some football under the belt right fry on trial okay need a back oh, I'm on a backup goalkeeper that's why I'm offering them out basically so this is good as well for Cantiro so what I've done is I've made it so I want him to play in that middle. They're playing him at an as an attacker in midfielder though. He got one goal though, which is quite good. I only played 17 minutes, so phew, can't complain about that. Yeah, so Shaq is playing at the striker position, which is, well, I don't care. It's no problem with me. As long as he's getting better as a player, that's all I'm bothered about. Fryer looks okay. Fringe player. Paul Freeman. Whoa! Hansa Dai looks crazy. Unfortunately, he's got no transfer, trans, no interest in joining us, which is sad. But at the end of the day, we can't complain because we, we we've got a good side as well. I like our team. It's it's uh, got a couple of the players from last year as well, which is nice to see. We did lose a couple of veterans, which is quite sad. But you know, it is what it is sometimes, and you just have to move on. So how many? We sold 600 tickets, which is great. You know, that's not too bad at all. We've got the attack one match to balance two matches. No problem whatsoever. Anyways, guys, uh, I think that I'll do it for this this part of it. So what I'll do is um, I'll come back when we're at the second game of the episode. And uh, I hope we can carry on what we did in that last game. On to the next one. Alright, guys. So here we are. Back with it. We're here for the second and final game. I know Fimont can't play here, but I really want him to be able to play here and here, so I'm going to play him here with Brad Burton being injured. So he's still fully fit, so it's not too bad, but I still want to bring in Fumont. Harry Brin is also going to actually be on the bench now instead of Webster because he's a proper attacking midfielder, and I've got Webster's more of a centre mid instead of an attacking mid. So now I've got Brin. Is it Brin? Let me check. Yeah, so Bryn now is going to be my attacker mid that I can bring on, and Lewis Poole is going to be my centre mid that I can bring on. So either or, I've got a good chance out right now. So what we're just going to say is I want them to play, just pick up exactly where they left off in the last one. Here's our stadium. By the way, if you're wondering why the seats are green, it's because uh, I didn't have the kit design yet, so I didn't know what colour I was going to go with. And last seat, last year. I had a team called Stockton Athletic which was uh, green so that's why it's green because I thought I might do that again but I was like nope Stockton Spartans it's so much nicer so much better but is what it is I know if we want to play that position but I do not care because he will learn to play that position there's Fumon oh my god has he put a great ball oh my god Fumon what a pass you and Pollock man I can't get over you. He's just like too good. He's too good. We're in the football league now. I was expecting him to slow down a bit, but right now he hasn't. He might later on the season, which is like totally expected. And if you and Pollock slows down, it's still an incredible season given how bloody well he's played. It's crazy, man. And a great pass, by the way, from Fumon. Fantastic pass. I might just play Fumont there anyway. Instead of I might just start Fumont instead of starting Brad Burton, you know. It's a hard dilemma, but we'll see what I choose to do. There's Bandera. He plays it to you and Pollock, and you and Pollock is there, who does really well to get by his man. He's all on his own. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, not a good shot by you in that one. Not a good shot, but he did brilliantly. He had no one up there with him, so it was the only thing he could have done. And uh, he made his own shot, so we're not gonna we're not gonna blame him for that one. But yeah, uh, it wasn't a great finish, was it? There's Beck though. He plays it back to Kerr. 
Oh, Beck might have been giving that one away. No, Danilo Pereira picks it up. Danilo Pereira. Pereira! Oh, that was close. He's shown glimpses of what he's capable of. I hope he can um, hope he can turn some of these chances into goals, though. With that 1-0 lead, it's still a bit nervous. So I'm just going to say I'm happy with the performance, though. Because they haven't had a highlight attacking our goal yet, which is fantastic. We are playing against Leighton Orient. Last season, we beat them in the Cup. And I think we've only got better. Obviously, our uh, team cohesion isn't going to be there right now. So considering we won 3-0 in the last game, it's fantastic. We're winning in this one now, touch wood. Uh, I hope it can stay this way, but we're just getting our team cohesion up and up and up. Right, we're in added time now. This is their first highlight attacking our goal. Bird plays it back. Oh my god, he gave it away to Pollock. It might be our highlight. <laughs> Go on, Danilo. Danilo into Pollock. Pollock back to Danilo. Good football. Danilo plays it out wide. Corbonu or Corbinu. Oh, it's a good block though. Fermont picks it up though. Harry Bryn. Back to Bandera. Great ball. Corbonu. Good goal, Theodore Corbinu. I might just nickname him Theo because I'm not going to... I don't know how to say that name. So next time we see him, he'll be called Theo because I haven't got a clue how to say this surname. Corb Corbinu, Corbonu. I do not know. But it's lovely play. Harry Bryn with a... Oh no, it was Bandera with the fantastic ball, sorry. But Corby, Theo did a really good job at finishing that one off. And that's just secured it. And we've done fantastically well again. Oh God, the start of the series, man. The start of it is just incredible. We've played fantastic again. It's just brilliant, isn't it? This is all amazing. We're gonna have to, we have to do well really because of the money that we've lost. Um, so we kind of have to do well. Oh my god, wait a minute. Why is all my money in my scouting budget? I've got 600k in the scouting budget. Let me change that. All oh, right, yeah, there we go. 600 in the transfer budget. Right, okay, yeah, there we go. That's all sorted. So, anyways, guys. Two fan ab just absolutely fantastic results in both games. 2 0 in the second one against Leighton Orient, and we beat Southport or whatever it's called. But we beat them 3 0 away from home, so I couldn't have wished for a better start. And I'm super proud of the boys for what they're doing right now. And you know what? That's going to be it for me to for today. So I really hope you all did enjoy this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later.